He was born in 1901, so he lived through the Depression in his 30s. He always wore a hat, clipped coupons, and frequented government offices and shoe repair shops and the like. He taught me to rotate my shoes, shine them myself, and keep them resold. I relished knocking around town with him while he ran errands and took care of whatever business occupied his days. He gave me hideous bowl haircuts in the makeshift barber shop he ran for the family in his cool, damp basement, where he also helped me set up a small workstation for building model cars. He was a real grandpa. Anyway, he rarely ventured to the back apartment unless he was going to fix something. So, Wayne was usually safe. Mischief and Malevolence As we grew up, Skyla and I were like brother and sister, climbing trees, telling scary stories at night like bloody fingers, and spying on the grandparents were the usual amusements. Sometimes when I was chasing Skyla around the outside of the house, I'd let her get ahead of me and then trip myself so she could get away. She would stop and screech out an evil cackle that made me howl on the ground with laughter, holding my belly and thrashing around like I'd broke my leg. We were stupid together.